Let me just say thanks for hearing part of my story. And I'm telling you that if somebody like me can find a life verse, I I'm telling you, you can as well. And I wanted to really encourage you in doing that. Because again, this series is all about growing together. And we're talking about how to grow together with God's word. And so I'm gonna ask you to really to find a life verse or a passage, something that can be really personal for you, or maybe it's for your, your family, or maybe it's both, maybe it's for your husband and wife. There's just a couple things that you can do. And I just wanna give you some encouragement to do this. And so here's a couple possible steps for you to do, okay? One is, first of all, make sure you're praying. Praying for guidance. Begin by seeking God and saying, God, what do I need to know? What do you want me to know? What are some things that will encourage me and encourage my family? So ask him to lead you into a verse or a passage that will resonate with you and that will really speak to your unique journey and your own circumstances. Secondly, like I've taken a little bit of time to reflect on my journey, I'm gonna encourage you to reflect on your journey with God. Take some time to think about some of the life experiences you've had the good times and the bad times, the challenges, maybe the, ch the times of spiritual growth. Consider some of your values and the principles or the themes that are really significant to you and to your family that have really helped shape who you are today, especially in your Christian faith. I, I wanna ask you to study and to actually meditate on scripture. Meditation is a good word, and so we're just asking you to engage in some regular Bible reading and uh, some regular Bible study to think about these verses that you've been reading and there's all kinds of ways that you can do that. But pay attention. Pay attention to the verses with passages that stand out to you, that resonate deeply or bring you comfort, or maybe they bring you inspiration, or sometimes they just give you guidance. And also seek wisdom from others. You're part of a small group, or if you're online, find the host. They'll be able to help you as well. Consult some trusted mentors that you have. One of your campus pastors, they'd love to kind of have you reach out to them and you can kind of discuss this with them, and that would be a great thing to do as you search for a life first, as you seek their input, their recommendations. Uh, I'd also encourage you to listen to worship songs. And when we hear worship songs that resonate with us, oftentimes they have a scriptural theme and they have a particular verse or they have a scripture reference in that song that can capture the essence of your spiritual journey as well. And that can become your life verse. I'm gonna ask you to be open to change as well. Recognize that the life verse can evolve and change as you grow, as you experience different seasons of your life. I shared with mine at the beginning as a Christ follower, when I'm a student, when we're a family. So be flexible, be open to embracing new verses that become more relevant, more impactful as your life, as your world changes, as your journey unfolds. I, I'd also encourage you to say, you know what? There might be a great opportunity just to Google and say, I need some digital help. And there's all kinds of resources. Our app, you have a Bible app on that. And I'd encourage you to just search hope, search some good words, search some words that you're going through or that you wanna to continue to be encouraged and encourage others in your family. Remember, discovering a life first is not a one-time event, but really is an ongoing process. Now it may take time and that's okay. It's gonna take some reflection. That's a great thing to do but it's a verse that will resonate deeply with you. That's what I'm wanting you to have for your life and for your family. So trust in the Holy Spirit's guidance. Be patient, continue to grow in God's word and God's wisdom for each and every one of you because God wants the very best for you. And so do I as your pastor.